Welcome to another Daily Shave. I'm Bo, and today is all about hardware. Specifically, the Honeycomb Badger brush from West Coast Shaving, and the Lithe Razor Head, which is sold by West Coast Shaving and was designed by Brian Twilley of Charcoal Goods. And if you've ever heard me talk about Charcoal Goods before, I'm a huge fan. So when this was announced, I knew I had to get it. Let me go ahead and get things soaking and we'll get the shave started. I'm gonna use uh, tobacco today. I figured if we're gonna talk about hardware, might as well use kind of kind of a, a soap that most people are familiar with. It's been around a long time. It's the same formula it's been forever. Um, everybody kind of understands how it performs so that it's, it's less of a wild card in the shave. The West Coast Shaving uh, Honeycomb brush comes with a two band, I think it's two band finest knot. Um, and I have been really, really impressed with this brush. brush. A long time ago, I, in order to, to limit how many brushes I ended up with my, in my den, I decided to stick to artisanal brushes. Those are, you know, hand turned on a lathe. Um, and I really, I just heard so many good things about this brush that I really wanted to pick it up. It's normally listed at about $55 which I think is a very, very reasonable price for it. But West Coast Shaving is always putting, particularly their own branded stuff on sale. So as of the dime I'm filming this video, I think it's on sale right now for about $44. And they offer free shipping at $45. So grab a pack of blades and you get it shipped for free. Um, and, I, you know, sometimes it may even be a little bit lower than that. And I think, I think it's a steal at that price. It is, I believe, a 26 millimeter knot, which for me is perfect. That's really my sweet spot uh, on a knot, especially a badger knot. I know some guys like their 30 millimeter knots and stuff in this. I guess maybe not for them, but the, the bloom on this brush is great. And um, so, all right, we got it loaded up here. I'm gonna go ahead and wet my face real quick. I always like to take the uh, the suds that are in the soap dish after I load my brush and go ahead and put those on my face. Seems silly to leave them behind or rinse them out when you have this just sort of, I like to think of it as proto lather. It's not quite a good lather, but it's on its way. One of the important things to me in a badger brush is how it splays. I don't like a brush that I have to mash into my face to get it to spread out while lathering, since I'm a face latherer. And the splay on this brush is right in my sweet spot. It has backbone, it is definitely not a floppy brush. But it's not hard to splay at all. It holds a ton of lather and a ton of water. The density I'd say on it is definitely above average. It isn't going to compete with something like a Morrison Fondren or Declaration or a hand-tied knot, but or even a Simpson, which is also a hand-tied knot. But it's those brushes cost four to six times what this one does. And I think this one offers incredible value. The tips are soft, not pillowy soft, not super jelly soft, but they are soft tips, especially when you go for the, the painting style motions like this. Um, I don't find any scritch to them, maybe, maybe just a, a little bit of scrub to them. And I don't mind a little bit of scrub. I don't like a lot of it but I don't mind a little bit. I'm gonna take a little extra time to work some water into this lather. If you haven't used a back. The scent, you may like, you may not. But man, it makes such a great lather. One, 
one more round of water, I think. I think I could sit here and add water to this for another hour, but I don't want to keep you that long. How's that look? That's pretty good. Drop the brush in my scuttle here. And grab the razor. The razor is the Lithe, L-I-T-H-E, from West Coast Shading. You can see it's got kind of a unique design here. The head has a sort of a triangle shape to it. It, some people are comparing it to like the old Walbush vintage razor or um, Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements has a, a sort of a recreation of it called the Alpha Ecliptic. It's not really like that, those razors. It's not that dramatic. Um, but it is interesting and it does change a little bit the way that you use it. Uh, I know a lot of people have concerns about the blade tabs. You can't, it's not going to come across on video really, but this, this side angles out a little bit, flares out a little bit as it goes to the base plate, and the tab is covered. Um, I can drag it around on my face and it's not going to cover. So, um, for those that worry about that, it's done, and I think it's done well because the top cap is narrower, and so it makes it easier to get onto the nose. My understanding is that, uh, you, you probably know that Brian Twilley of Charcoal Goods has worked with West Coast Shaving in the past to make razors like El Capitan, and I think Hyperion is the other one. Um, they made some, some collaborative razors in the past, but those razors were stainless steel CNC machined razors that cost, well, into the, into the three figures, right? And so they decided that they wanted to partner up to make a razor that was more affordable that anyone could buy. And to do that, you can't use stainless steel and CNC machine it. Um, so they decided to use, it's a, it's a cast, some sort of alloy, that is plated in chrome. Why is that a good thing? That's a good thing because you can get it for 10 bucks. You can get it for 10 bucks. If this razor was CNC machined, it'd probably cost 100 bucks. But because it's cast and it's plated, it's 10 bucks. And the plating on it, I actually, I'm very impressed with. I think the plating on it's really, really good. Um, if you're used to, to Merker and Edwin Jagger and, and Mueller, I think you're going to be happy with the plating job on this. It's really nicely done, especially for a $10 razor. The angle on it is very intuitive. And I find, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it has to do with the plating or the design of this razor. I find that it glides over the skin exceptionally well. And that was not something I expected. This is a mild razor. Um, maybe just a tad more aggressive than uh, DE89, but kind of in that neighborhood. Very intuitive angle, very easy to use. This this is a razor I think someone um, could start their DE shaving journey with and be happy. Because I think the top cap makes the angle so easy to find and to maintain. But I will say that for such a mild razor, I do get very good results from it. It is more efficient than you would think when you first use it. I'm using a Gillette Silver Blue in it today, which is uh, my number one blade. Um, it's what I tend to use in my older razors, and it works absolutely great in this one. If you're a feather guy, a feather would be great in it. Uh, Pole Silver, Gillette Platinum, whatever your go-to kind of sharp blade is, it's going to work great in this razor. It also gives great feedback. I know some people like that. I don't know if I know anyone who doesn't. My wife likes to say it sounds like it hurts, <laughs> which it doesn't. But 
she thinks it does. This, uh, like I said, this is the mild, this is a mild razor. There are two more versions of this razor head coming out. One will be more aggressive. I believe it's going to be called the Brawny, maybe. And then there will be an open comb version coming out, I think, after that. And I can tell you right now, based on my experience with this one, I'm planning to get all three. At 10 bucks, it's just really hard not to try them. As you can see, the uh, the razor is just, it's very user friendly. I can definitely shave quickly when I need to with it. I'm just a big fan of it. I think it's great. And I think considering how much it costs, it's really kind of incredible that they were able to make a razor that works so well and looks, I think, really good that costs so little. If you know you're not a fan of mild razors, because I know, I know some guys that feel that way, hang tight for just a, a few, few, few days or weeks, because I think the brawny is coming very soon. I don't have any inside information. That's just my thoughts. But I think it's coming soon. One thing I should probably address, I think, and I've seen people ask this, it's designed by charcoal goods. It is not manufactured by charcoal goods. And they ask, does it shave like a charcoal goods razor? No. It doesn't. What does that mean? The charcoal goods razors are made from brass, copper, or stainless steel. And they are made by a machining process that takes a while and requires skill. Whereas these razors can be made in batches, and so you can make them a lot faster, which makes them less expensive. But the materi materials used to make the razors also have different properties. And I think what he did is he did an exceptional job of playing to the strengths and downplaying the weaknesses of each material. And I really think he did an exceptional job of making a razor that works really well using a cheap alloy and chrome plating. This one really does a stellar job of working with what it's got, so to speak. Let me rinse off real quick, and I'll be right back. was a really easy shave. I'm going to finish up with some Soap Commander Integrity Balm. Not a huge balm guy. Love this stuff. Um, this is the men mentholated version. There is an unmentholated version as well. A little bit goes a long way. That's probably more than I need. Like most balms, so Commander recommends you rub this in while your face is still. 
damp. Help kind of lock in the moisture. See, way too much. <laughs> but that's all right. Anytime I have extra of this, I use it as a hand lotion. Works great. So, to sum things up, the West Coast Shaving Lithe Razor Head. Wonderful, mild shaver at an unbeatable price. Um, I, this is not something you have to worry about the, the quality of the finish on either, which I think at a razor for 10 bucks is something most of us would worry about. It's really excellent. The honeycomb brush is a really great value. It's, badger brushes can get really expensive and it's hard to know, especially if you're new to badgers, what a knot is going to feel like, what the tips are going to feel like, whether it's going to hog the lather or whether it's going to let it flow out. This brush is very user friendly. It's very easy to use. It's very middle of the road as far as the qualities of it. It's not tons of backbone, but it has backbone. It's not floppy. Um, it releases your lather. It holds water. The tips are not super, super soft, but they're also not scritchy at all either. So very nice, middle of the road, affordable badger brush. But I think it looks pretty good. So thank y'all for watching. Check out all my friends doing daily shaves. And we'll see you next time.